the star of Fantasy Island. She'll also be co-hosting Dick Clark's New Year's Rockin' Eve live from Puerto Rico this year. So give it up for Rosalind Sanchez. Girl, I'm such a fan of yours, Rosalind. You. And I always, this is the first time we're meeting. Yes. But I've always known you were beautiful, but you are so absolutely Aww. stunningly. Oh my God. Likewise. <laughs> Thank you. I feel like it's New Year's Eve already. It's New Year's Eve. Feliz <laughs> Año Nuevo. <laughs> Girl, you know, in my heart, it, did you happen to see Janet Jackson? I saw it all. You, but did you, was she upstairs with you, Janet no, Jackson? No, 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 I just saw when she finished. Okay. And then she exited, and then they were saying, take a picture with her. I said, I don't want to bother her, I feel bad. But it was beautiful, and I'm so glad you got that moment. Girl, yeah. I, you know, they, um, they surprised me, yeah. so I'm not good with surprises. Are you good with surprises? Um, I'm fine yeah. with surprises. Yeah, I think so. I think it's fun. I mean, not that surprise. I would have been like, ah, I'm gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> you handle it really well. No, I do. It, it, you know, it's funny. Um, I, I've been married now for 14 years. Yes. And thank 14, you. Years. 14 years. And my husband, at the beginning of the dating phase of the whole thing, like maybe three months into dating. Oh. Look at my husband there, you. I know. He, um, it was my birthday. Yeah. And he said, I have a surprise for you. But you know, at the beginning stages of dating, you don't know what he's gonna do. Exactly. So he took me to this restaurant and we go in, we check in, and then the host, we, they keep walking us towards the very end. I'm going, I'm very particular about like where I'm yeah. gonna sit. And I'm like, where are we going? And he's like, uh -huh. this guy's taking us to the very end of the freaking restaurant. And it was like, they opened the doors to this room and all my good friends from work, oh, really? family members, it was a big surprise party. I had no idea. And I was like, you're a good man, dude. That's a good man. <laughs> He's those little attention yes. to detail. Yes, yes. But I love it because you said that you two have, you and Eric have been married for 14 yeah. years, but you're total opposites. Yeah. So do you guys podcast about that? We do. We have one called He Said, Ella Dijo, He Said, She Said. Ah. It's been going on for two years. And we have this podcast. And it's basically having a laugh. It has become a, a therapy session, like, yeah. a, like a couple <laughs> session. Yeah. You know, it was meant to be like more of like a pop culture, like his point of view about things. And yeah. Pop culture, and now it has become more about like, yeah, like a therapy session. And it's, it's, but we do it with respect and, and, and laughter. Absolutely, yeah. And it's been an incredible experience. Oh my yeah. gosh. Now you have a 10 year old daughter, yeah. and your son is five years old. Yes. So when you guys get together, I mean, when, when you're all together, Aww. when nobody's working, yeah. So how do you celebrate? What are the holidays like in your house? Uh, a little bit of everything. You know, he's American. Um, I'm from Puerto Rico. Okay, all right. <laughs> So it's, a, it's combining, it's fun, it's combining both traditions. You know, like, like we do, we have a lot of family and friends and he loves the Christmas, uh -huh, the Christmas carols. Yes. And I'm going, no, 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 no. We need the <laughs> <laughs> So I have a good salsa I need here. a salsa party. This is no Christmas without salsa. And he's like, that's a little too much. I'm going, no, 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 no. <laughs> that is so funny. So it's both cultures. Now, does your husband, does he speak uh, Spanish? Um, a little bit. He speaks a little. So a little when you get mad at him, like, do you get to cuss him out in Spanish? He don't know what you're saying? I do. You know, I go to, when I get mad, it's it, instinctual. I go to Spanish. He knows all the bad words, of course. Okay, all right. So I, I, I can't get away. Yeah, I, I can't get away with, like, just going crazy in Spanish because he knows, I know what you said, because he knows the better words. Yeah. <laughs> so Eric, and the, Eric is an actor as well. Yes. You guys are both actors, so a lot of times that goes like, I'm a comic, so my son is really funny. Okay. Now, do you think the acting bug has hit the kids? No. No, they you don't know, want to act. No, not really. And I, you know, I grew up as a dancer, so yeah. my whole life I thought whenever I have a daughter, I'm gonna have a little ballerina, right. you know, like me. And at three and a half, she was taking ballet, and, and by six, she was like, Mom, I don't like it. Oh. I was devastated. I was like, no, you don't understand. <laughs> this house, 
<laughs> you pick the discipline of dancing you want. I don't care, but you need to dance. So you, you know? got to dance. And she was like, and I, I forced it. I was like, I don't mind about it. I don't, I don't care. You're going. <laughs> and then it got to a point that I was like, you know, what am I doing? She you didn't know like I mean? it. She doesn't like it. She's a tennis player. So I have a little sporty spice, like I have a little athlete. There you go. I'm very confused. There you go. A little tomboy, but it's okay. <laughs> but it's a lot of choreography in exactly, tennis. It exactly. is. And the boy's very shy, um, and he's so cute. Does I he do like plays or? or he just he... did one. I just, I oh, just he did... went. Yeah, he just two days ago. I went to his little Christmas uh, that day, like that picture right there. Yeah. That was his Christmas, um, the holiday performance at his preschool, and he's so freaking cute. I keep saying, Dylan, you can make a lot of money doing commercials. You want money? <laughs> he's like, no, mom. I'm like, I see you, the target. I see you, I see you. And he's like, mm, I don't think so. <laughs> oh, gosh. Well, you know, like, do it, get, just, like, kind of usher him in a little bit, which you could do on Dick Clark's New, Dick Clark's New Year's Rockin' Eve. Yes. And you're yes. doing it in Puerto Rico. Yeah. So this is really great. Yeah. So happy. So, like, is, this is your second year doing it? Second year. This is the second time that go to Puerto Rico as one of the cities that is going to mm -hmm. do the whole extravaganza. Um, last year, we had Daddy Yankee closing the, the countdown you with did. me. Oh. Yes, this year we have Farruko, which is another beloved um, urban, he's an incredible artist. And yeah, guys, it's much needed. You know, Puerto Rico has taken a beating the last seven you know, years. Yes. It's been brutal. And, and tourism is a big part of our economy. And an uh, uh, experience like this, like a, an event like this, you know, it, it brings a lot of eyeballs and a yes. lot of awareness to the island. And we love to party and holidays and Christmas and New Year's Eve. It's a very special moment in Puerto yeah. Rico because it's about community and family and love and celebration. So I'm happy. I'm happy that I'm there. So is your husband going to be with you? Yes. He is going to be with you. Your whole yes. family is going to be with you? No, you know, yeah. I'm not, not the whole family. That's the only part, you know, okay. and, and you know, because you, you're part of this business, I, I travel like crazy. And we're only going for three days, and it's very far from Los Angeles. Ah. And to take the kids just for a short time, yeah. and then my husband said, like, why don't we just do it as a little getaway, just you and me, it'll be a great way to start 2023 as a couple. Oh, this is good. <laughs> this is good, so, Rosalind. Yeah. You know what happens when you do the little getaways as a couple? You oh, might come yeah. back with another little baby. Oh, I'll be exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> Now, <laughs> girl, I want to congratulate you on season two of Fantasy yes. Island. Yes. This is so absolutely amazing. Uh, uh, so now, because you're Mr. Rourke's niece, you've taken over, like yes. you're doing it. So on season two, what can we expect? So many things. Yeah. You know, it's going to be such a special season, and not because it's my show. The first one it was so well done. This second one is the locations are just gorgeous. The guest stars are fantastic. The storylines are getting better. And you know, fantasy is a show about wish fulfillment and uh -huh. making your dreams come true. It's family oriented, it's clean, it's positive TV. Um, it's about how this island takes you into this journey of becoming a better human being. You know, whatever you think you need and you want, it's not what you actually need. Uh -huh. So it's just, it's amazing. I'm so proud of the show. And yeah. uh, you know, and it's so funny because I loved Fantasy Island when it first came out yeah. and the lessons that it would teach. You know, it was always what you thought you wanted. Exactly. And it turned out that maybe that wasn't what you wanted. Correct. And, and that's the way in, in real life. You know, sometimes we pray and we, not even, we wish for something so badly, but God knows that's not what is good for you. Absolutely. You know, it's, not it's not what we need. Yeah. God knew that because he knew I needed Janet Jackson, girl. <laughs> he knew I needed that. But it, yeah. this is really great because of Fantasy Island, it films in Puerto Rico. Yeah. So are you around people that you know when you're filming the show? Can I tell you, you know, I did a show, I moved to the States when I was 21 years old. Okay. From 19 to 21, I was in the number one live comedy show in PR. The name was Kewa Silong. Okay. Crew members of that show are a part of the crew of of Fantasy Island. Oh, see, that's great. It's unbelievable. Like camarographers, and these are people that they they remember me when I left the show with this dream of becoming an actress and making it in Hollywood, and yes. I wanted to do musical theater. So they've seen my journey, and to be able to go back almost 30 years later, and now I'm the lead of a show. Yeah. It's like it's like they love me. I love them. There's nothing but respect. Um, like the second ID went to high school with me, Lara, one of my dear friends, really? all through high school. Now she's my second ID. You know, it's it's amazing. And it must be so great for them because they saw you when you were little. Yeah. And to see the evolution of where you are yeah. now, I'm sure they are so There's, so proud they of are, you. I'm so happy. It's like a family. Yeah. You know, it's such a trip because uh, being in Puerto Rico, I'm sure just. Like you said, it just needs so much attention. So I'm sure so many folks are just so proud of you for bringing, 
you know, the attention back to the island. Yeah, I'm trying, I'm trying. I love, listen, I've been, half of my life, I've been here in the States, but homeland, home, yeah. it's there. You know, so and my family's there, my parents are there. They're getting old on me. Um, sometimes I, I spend a lot of time that I don't see them. And now when I shoot the show, I'm four, four months in Puerto Rico. Yeah. And to be able to do a Saturday, you know, I'm working Monday through Friday and I cannot believe that on a Saturday, I'm just gonna go to my mom and dad where I grew up and have lunch that's with them. It. You know, it's amazing. That's yeah. it, and that's what they needed. Yeah, they needed you're right. you there. You're right. Rosalind, I am so glad you came. You, I just, I wish you all of the best on the second season of Fantasy Island. Yes. Season two of Fantasy Island premieres Monday, January 2nd at 8 p.m. on Fox.